My name is Kate Brownman. I work at the Institute on the Environment at the University of Minnesota. I was a coordinating lead author with chapter two in the section that's focused on nature's contributions to people. One of the things that I think is most important that we have shown in this assessment is that there's so much connection between what happens on land and what happens in the water. We are appropriately concerned about fresh waters uh, and about dams and about free flowing rivers, but we also really need to pay attention to what's happening on the landscape and what are we doing on the landscape that may have negative consequences for the water. We think that there's lots of potential for synergies, so putting into practice different kinds of things like agricultural practices that can both cause productivity on the landscape, but also help with things like water quality and filtering water. We know that there are many businesses who benefit from the contributions of nature of all kinds. So certainly all of the businesses that work in food or timber or with material goods, but in fact, all of the businesses that depend on freshwater resources, on soils, on pollination, even on things like the production of medicines. Um, about 70% of cancer medicines actually um, are either come from nature or are inspired by natural products. So much that we can do as individuals and no one thing will solve everything, but by changing our habits, everything from our eating habits and our consumption to the way that we interact with our own governments, that we as individuals need to recognize how important nature is and we need to make sure that those who represent us recognize that also.